Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn how to integrate Next.js with the Cloudinary to upload the images and display the images. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first install this package that is Cloudinary and the Next images. So let's go to the terminal, open your project of the Next.js in which you are trying to integrate the Cloudinary. So paste this, you need to install this packages. So first install this, after this, the code is already open. So in the components, we are going to create one of the file that the name is image upload.js. So I'm going to create that file over here. So image upload.js and I'm going to copy this code, which I have written over here. So let's go and just add it over here. Okay, so this is, here we go with this one. Right, so here we require the Cloudary cloud name, okay, and here we require the upload preset, cloud name, and everything. So let's add these variables and get the variables from the Cloudary. So here we go with the Cloudary login. So let's go to the settings. So these are the SS key, that is API key and the API secret. So this is API key, it is required. So first one that is upload preset. So first we go get the upload preset in the settings. We have to go with the upload in the upload. You will get the presets. Okay. If you haven't created the upload preset, then you have to create the upload preset like this. So here add up upload preset. Otherwise I'm going to use my upload preset over here. Okay. So let me copy this and add the upload preset here. Okay. So this is done. Next, we require the Cloudinary cloud name. So we require the cloud name. So let's go to the, this is my cloud name. So I need to copy this one. So let, okay, so here we go with my, this. So let me copy this environment, copy this. Okay, let me add my cloud name over here. So let, I don't need to require the dollar over this. So let's add this one. Okay, so cloud name you are getting on the post data. Then we have the upload in image now required the cloud name. Cloud name. Okay, the same thing. Okay, so here we go with the cloud name. Okay, so this we have added public image ID image. Okay, so this file is done. Right, let's go to the next file. That is image upload where we have to include this component. So in, we have to import in the main file that is page.js. So here I'm going to import this one. Let me comment this one previous example. Okay, so let me add this. Right. Now we are going to add our component over here. So const home. So here we go with the const home and do this one. Okay, so here we have the checkout function. So I'm going to do the comment over it. Okay, and now I'm going to add my image upload component like this image upload. Okay, anything else we missed uh, in I think I need to add the use client over here because they always asking is there any error oh, no no this is file upload right use state and all so but i haven't used this into the page.js right so it's commented or you can see that i can comment all the whole code over here okay so here we go with this one this is done this is page file is done imported components image of i think the it's components image upload why it's not going there okay okay it's the one dot issue so one remove now the links work so here we go with this one settings okay now the code is done so let's go and check npm run dev <coughs> so here request is not defined so which line number they were saying S3 node modules request my S3 module node modules next disk server 
next request let me check this one why exactly they were showing me the error actually the issue might be the node version let me check the node version so node version is 650 maybe it worked on no it's worked in i think uh, so 20 nvm use 20 let me use this node 20 now i'm going to uh, run the command npm run dev okay let's have a look now it's working right so let's go and just check this one open the link and here we go with this one so i need to use the use client again because um it should be it, it's on the browser side so definitely i need to add in the at the top of it so here just let me add the space and just add it like this okay and this is done let's reload this cloudinary react cannot resolve why it's not resolving this cloudinary react we haven't installed this cloudinary react let me install this again Okay, let's have a look is it now it's linking with the node modules okay so let's go and check this one now you can see the page is loading right now let's try to upload the code any of the file okay so how to get this as token okay and here you can see display the image that is uploaded right upload and show the images okay let's check the cloudinary the image is uploaded or not let's go to the programmable media okay so here you can see that we have the cloud name over here okay so this is cloud name this is api key okay api secret environment everything is going over here right so let's go to the images and the videos where we have the dashboards media library so here we go with the media library of that one so we have to check the current image that is how to get the ss token required for assessing the api this this is this image we have uploaded how to get the ss token here you can see how to get the ss token for that one let me scroll down to show you the full one or you can just i uh, let me just add the image width and the height so width gonna be like 200 pixels okay you can see that right so this is the image and in the console okay the image is showing over here right and the image is uploaded here also okay in your cloud native cloud right so that means our our concept is to upload the images to the cloud native which is done let's understand the code how we have done this one or how we have achieved this one okay so first i have created the image upload.js file right and here we are using the use client, the React in the use state from the React. And this is Cloudinary React package that we are using. Okay. Next, we have the image upload method. You can see that. Okay. Here we have the functional component image upload. Right. So this is full-fledged functional component where we have the image, set image and the use state by default empty. When we click on the button. So here we have the button that is image upload image so this is the input button where we are going to upload the image so it will call get all the target files form data append the file zero then append that into upload preset you have to add it over here then we are going to call the api of the cloud navy with this post method and the data and it will give you the image okay so file dot secure url then you are going to set this image and after this you are going to just load that image okay with the public id this is the image part okay so here you are loading that image and that image is showing over here okay and the last you are calling it into the pages.js with the image upload component after this in here you are just calling this component that's it so this is how you are able to upload the images using next.js in cloudinary any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day